sight in the game to see the boxing boys. You've seen you on CBS being an analyst for PBC and everything. How do you love? How do you like PBC? Uh, basically, spreading boxing around to the masses on CBS, ESPN. NBC, Spike TV, uh, they just went on Bound TV a few days ago, and now they're on a ESPN and a Fox Sports 1. They just signed that deal. How do you like the PBC, and what do you feel that the PBC is doing for the sport of boxing? It's a great thing, is it? Are yes, you a PBC is. fan? Yes, I am. Okay, well, if you're a PBC fan, I can, I can talk to you then. Look, it's, everything comes with change, right? It's no big secret that boxing has stayed in the dark ages with dark mentalities. Uh, you know, and people operating behind the scenes that, uh, you know, sort of could ruin a guy's life, ruin his health, or even ruin his career and the politics that come along with it. And the masses really don't know that, getting back to the fans again. P PBC is, by doing what they're doing, are educating the casual fan the person who thinks they want to be a fan because you're getting boxing explained to you at its purest, the way it's supposed to be explained. Anybody can go see two people just stand toe-to-toe -to -toe without exhibiting an art. And yeah, a lot of people, if you, got a, if you got a car crash on this corner and somebody dying of a heart attack on the other, you're gonna have way more people at the car crash than you had of somebody dying of a heart attack. It's just the mentality of people. It'll be 500 people down at the beach to try to save a beach well, but not one out of that 500 might give a homeless man a dollar. So, you know, it's just the mentality of people, but the PBC is here to educate the people on that this is a sport, it's an art, and when you're a master at your art and you know how to display your mastery at this art, then it's something that's beautiful and it's something to be acknowledged and something to root for and it's something that you could be a fan of because anybody who's at the best of what they do, they're a master at it and they make it look easier than the other person. How many people out there that's hypocritical to the point where they say, well, that's not a good fight, but if it was your son, who you want your son to fight? Like Ruslan Provodnikov or Floyd Mayweather? That same hypocrite, if it's their son, don't say, I want my son to hit, not get hit. See, I guarantee you won't find one that say, no, if my son gonna be a boxer, I want him to go toe to toe, get hit in the face. He don't have to have that much skill. Just fight with everything you got. You're not gonna find one person to say that. So it's a lot of hypocrites in the sport, but this is the only sport that you can have intangibles like that, that, that uh, you know, yeah, that have intangibles that compl complicate, you know, what the sport is trying to do. But I'm behind PBC 100% for what they're trying to do, and that's educate the fan on the purity and the gracefulness and the and the dedication that it takes to be a fighter, and the skill that it takes to be able to have somebody throwing blows at you to put you out for a 10 count, and they can't land them, but you can hit them. And hopefully, it'll inspire a lot of the younger kids to get back in our amateur system and get taught correctly, and so we can bring some more gold medals to this great country. Now one final question.